Right now, on planet Earth, we are faced with the greatest pandemic in all of history. A pandemic is a worldwide epidemic, and this pandemic is called cancer. The World Health Organization just came out with a recent study, and they said that cancer statistics are tragic and epidemic, and they're soaring. We are an unbelievable beings intellectually, emotionally, psychologically, physically. We are magnificent creatures. We have to say, this is not okay. The idea, the word cancer is such a frightening word and new discoveries are overturning 150 years of the way we've been taught to think about ourselves and our relationship to our bodies. And that means that those new ideas are also changing the way we have been conditioned to think about disease, including cancers. When it comes to cancer, there are different ways to approach it. You can approach it using conventional medical procedures such as uh, uh, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery, and all that. Or you can start to recognize, can I treat it without interfering with the function of the body? So the first question is, where does the cancer come from? Then there's the belief that a cancer is caused by a cancer gene. There is no gene that causes cancer. There is a lot of evidence, data, and first-hand stories indicating that your odds of getting cancer can be reduced and your ability to reverse cancer can be increased by learning how the natural and holistic evidence-based medicine can work together in harmony with the latest medical treatments to create a truly integrative approach to health and healing. Cancer is a wake-up call. I mean, it's, it's a divine tap on the shoulder. It makes you really step back and evaluate your whole life. If my body brought this to me, it can take it away. I had cancer at one point, and I healed it holistically, alternatively. And um, I really I want to help empower people with the knowledge that there are choices out there. There isn't one way to go about trying to heal your cancer. 